Hello, Slicey Dicers. This is Brian with another knife review for you. Today we have the Quiet Carry IQ, the new version of the Quiet Carry IQ. They were previously full titanium with LMAX steel. These new ones are still mostly titanium, but you have these really nice carbon fiber little mini scales and 20 CV steel. I'm kind of rushing this review. I've only had this for a couple of days, uh, but a lot of them are still available. So that's why I'm rushing to get this out because if you guys know Quiet Carry, make some amazing stuff. It does come in batches, so it kind of comes and goes. But the IQs, this new version, are still available. I do believe one of the old ones is still available as well. That one may be still continuing. I'm not really sure. 182 for the previous version. This one, 198. I think that's a pretty fair upgrade for getting the carbon fiber and all that stuff and uh, the PVD coating and all that. I assume it's PVD. Looks like it. Um, very, very, very nice looking knife, though. A little sheep's foot kind of blade. Very gentlemanly, very slim, kind of small knife. Always loved the way the IQ looks. I really liked mine that I had. Um, it was actually a gift from Nick Shabazz, and uh, he oct often auctions stuff off. So I auctioned mine off as well for charity, and I've always missed it. And I knew there was a new one coming. It took a little while longer than I thought, but I did finally get one of the new ones. And uh, yeah, I do love it. There are still versions available. Unfortunately, this isn't one of them. I'm sorry if you're looking at this one and say, I want exactly that one. This is one that is sold out. But there is this same exact configuration, but with uh, instead of the blue in the carbon, there's green in the carbon. I read somewhere that these this carbon may come from Fat Carbon. I'm not really sure. It's a company that just you know makes some stuff. But um, uh, I don't know. But it looks like it. It definitely does look like it uh, anyway. Uh, there's that version with the green available. And then also there is a fully blacked out blade with black carbon, just plain black carbon. Uh, which actually looks pretty sick, but uh, I, I I wanted the uncoated blade, so this is the one that I went for. Let's do some specs and size comparisons before we get too much farther. As I said, this is kind of a small, gentlemanly sort of knife. I've only had it for a couple of days, but I had the previous one, and honestly, a lot of the things are very, very similar to the previous one. It's the exact same shape and everything. It was just different materials. You have a blade length of 2.9 inches, overall length of 6.6 .6 inches, blade thickness of 0 0.08 inches, pretty slim. Handle thickness also very slim, 0 0.38 inches, and a weight of 2.1 ounces, which they do get the golf clap for, because that is what they claim, and uh, that's that's what it weighed. Oh, I'm wrong. They claim 2.2. They shorted themselves. I withdraw the golf clap. I thought I I thought I, I thought they claimed 2.1, but I have two sets of stats up in front of me. I just glanced up, and nope. I withdraw my golf clap, but still, it's lighter than they claimed it was. Nothing to complain about there. Now let's do some size comparisons. We're going to do a couple of the usuals, and then we're going to change stuff up just a little bit. Uh, you have your, because again, this is a pretty slim, gentlemanly knife, so there's other stuff that is more applicable to compare it to. Try and line up the pivots there. There's your Spider Co. Para 3. And for giggles, the PM2, which you can see it is uh, significantly smaller than either of those. And I'm still going to bring out a couple bench maids. I'm going to change it up. Uh, just slightly, we're going to do just two bug outs so you can see between the size of the two bug outs. We're going to do the full size bug out. This one's from the custom shop before you guys ask where I got the purple thumb studs. And the mini bug out, which has been dyed before you guys ask where I got a red one. Yeah, so very similar in size to the mini bug out, which no real complaints there. It's a good little gentlemanly EDCE kind of size. We're gonna, I'm gonna compare it to the uh, the Quiet Carry uh, Waypoint shortly because I've already gotten a lot of questions about that. That's another you know full titanium model that they make. But we're gonna pull out some other ones first. Uh, let's pull out the the Riot Bushido. You see, it's just a little shorter than that. A much much slimmer knife though for sure. And. Another kind of judgmentally sort of a little knife I've been liking a lot. I don't know exactly where the pivot is on this, so we'll just guess. The Spyderco Spy Opera. So yeah, it's, it is insolent and does not like to stand up well. I guess it looks alright on camera there, doesn't it? But yeah, pretty similar in overall length to those two. A little bit smaller, but not dramatically so. And lastly, before we get to the Quiet Carry, one more little combo I want to show. You have your... Small Sabenza 31 and the small Inkosi. 
Yeah, so more small and cozy size than small 31 size, if, if you happen to have both of these around. And lastly, now we will, we will show the Quiet Carry Waypoint, another, the only other full titanium knife they make right now um, that I've seen. I, I don't know if the drifts are available now or not. I didn't, I haven't looked in a while, but yeah, you can see that same kind of slimish profile, but this is a, a little bit smaller. Got those usual four holes that, you know, the little four dots, the Quiet Carry kind of logo, for lack of a better term, I guess you'd call it flipper tab instead of thumb stud and this one is van x and you know and lc 200 n and all that stuff it's completely corrosion resistant the the iq is not and i can't blame them for that like it's that if this this isn't kind of a knife that you're gonna really worry about you know being in the water or anything like that it's just uh not that kind of thing now let's uh why did I start putting the other one? Start putting the wrong one away. Let's talk more about this knife. So, again, pretty thin blade stock, 0 0.08 inches, only 20 thousandths behind the edge. Very, very slicey little knife. I did not go back to look to see if my LMAX one was the same as this. I probably should have gone back and watched my own video about that. Um, really nice sharpening choil, which I do like. They, they pretty much hit it, but on a small knife like this, it's nice just to see one at all. I like me a sheep's foot blade. For the kind of purposes this is going to be, again, I think this is more of a gents kind of office knife. I I think that's uh, that's completely a great blade shape to have. It's a very unintimidating blade shape for sure. No issues there. Very slicey. Came super sharp out of the box. Not much of a piercer, but again, it, with what this is intended for, I think that is uh, completely fine. Not many markings on the blade. Just that little quiet carry up there and CPM 20 CV on the other side. Ergonomics are surprisingly good for a knife this small and with the world's most basic handle shape, <laughs> really. Uh, but it fits in the hand pretty darn good. Uh, you can feel that pocket clip a little bit in the palm of your hand, but it's not its not too bad. I wouldn't want to go do an hour's worth of work with this thing, for sure. It's not that comfortable because, uh, again, you can feel this a little bit digging into your hand. depends on the size of your hand. If you have smaller hands, it'd probably be uh, totally fine. Or maybe even larger hands, it might be fine. But you can get all four fingers on it, barely. But again, I don't really have a big problem with that. I think the ergos are perfectly fine for its intended purpose. Uh, not bad at all. As far as the carry goes, it's outstanding. It's really light, 2.1 ounces. The pocket clip is a pretty darn deep carry. Very deep carry. The thing just disappears, especially in this black. Nobody's ever going to realize you have a knife in your pocket. It doesn't look at all like it would possibly be a knife. And it's really slim. Very tiny flipper tab. Super easy to get your hand past. I will say there are some edges on the flipper tab that are a little sharp, like on either side. So even though it's a very small flipper tab, it, you're, you're going to feel it on your widow pinky every now and then. But it's it's not like shockingly awful, horribly bad. But they, it is. you are going to notice it. I was kind of surprised by that. I didn't remember that on my previous one. As far as the action goes, it is outstanding. Again, I've only had, only had this couple days. Haven't taken it apart. Haven't done anything to it, but the detent is perfect. If I remember on my previous IQ, I believe I adjusted the detent on that. Uh, this one does not need it. It is outstanding. Being a small knife, make sure you don't have your fingers pushing on the lock bar. So a lot of people do that. And then, yeah, it doesn't deploy well because you're, you're pushing that detent ball right back into the blade. So make sure your fingers are down here. Very snappy. Not exactly drop shutty. It's close to it, but it's just, it's physics. This is a very thin, very light little blade. It's probably not ever going to drop shut. Again, I've done nothing to this. I could probably get it really close to it. I think my old one, I could just do one little wrist snap and it would fall. But uh, I will take it apart and mess with it because this ain't going anywhere for a while, which is, uh, that's kind of my conclusion. I love my old IQ. I like this one better. I, I kind of almost maybe prefer just the plain titanium, but this is really cool looking. Don't get me wrong. Um, it's just for a really gentlemanly sort of knife. That's a, that carbon is a bit flashy. I wish they did the all black carbon, the black with the black carbon and the uncoated blade. That that would have been what I would have gone for. But, but you know, without that, the blue is fine. Uh, but I, I really do miss having the knife around, and I'm very glad to have another one back. Uh, fit and finish seems outstanding. No, Quiet Carry does not say where they have stuff made. We all have our theories, but I don't know which one is right, so I'm not going to espouse them here. Um, I don't think it's any of the usual suspects. I'll, I'll just put it that way. But uh, they are extremely well made wherever they're done. The only little 
tiny quality thing I could possibly point out, and it's the minorest of minor things. If you run your finger over here, you cannot feel that transition at all between the carbon and the titanium. You can just a little bit on the edges, but it's not sharp or anything. You just can kind of notice it. It's the tiniest little thing, but that's it. That's the only thing I would really uh, complain about. And of course, it is right hand only. So, you know, if you are a lefty, sorry, uh, that ain't, that ain't going to work for you. That's something to complain about as well. But it would, this is kind of a design style knife. And I think at some point you have to accept it's 10% of the population and they don't want to make the knife look different, you know, for that small percentage. I, I kind of get it. But I also, on the other hand, understand why lefties get upset about it. Um, my son's a lefty and he, he gets, he doesn't really care that much. He doesn't care much about anything. He's 21. He's just kind of, okay, whatever. But uh, yeah, it is a very, very cool knife. Awesome little uh, kind of gent slash office folder with a very modern sort of twist to it. Uh, always been a fan of the IQ. I do think this is an improvement over the older one. I said aesthetically, I, maybe I like the maybe I like the gray or a combination. What if we got it without the PVD and with the blue carbon? That would look cool. I don't know. But, you know, it's a small company. Uh, Quiet Carry is basically one dude. Very nice guy, but he's basically one dude. So you get what you get, you know. And they all are, yeah, everything is PVD coated. I'm just looking at my own stats, so I was guessing. But yeah, they, this is all PVD, so it's going to hold up. Very, very cool knife, though. Uh, I don't think you would, if you want a knife in this category, I don't think you'd, uh, I don't think you'd be disappointed at all. There's going to be a lot of comments down below saying it's too small. But why did you watch the video? You know it's too small. Why do people comment on that all the time? Sometimes I review small knives, sometimes I review big knives. That's how it goes. Hope you guys have enjoyed this. I've been Brian. Have a good one.